Hi everybody, I'm Jason Mattity with GetFishing.ca. I'm here to talk to you a little bit about a few fishing tips and how to get started if you've never fished before. Plus we'll throw in a few pro tips as well. In Saskatchewan primarily, most people are fishing for northern pike, walleyes, or yellow perch. Now there's quite a difference in size, particularly between yellow perch and northern pike. So one rod doesn't always do it for all applications. So this rod in this hand is what is called a bit of a lighter open face spinning outfit. And what makes it lighter is it's got a quicker tip that bends rather quickly and it can handle lighter test line and also lighter lures, which is really important so that you can fish smaller things to catch perch and small walleye. Whereas this one is a lot heavier of an outfit uh, can handle up to three quarters of an ounce of a lure. You see it doesn't bend as much. Really, really solid in the backbone. And you can throw much larger lures for much larger fish with it. Monofilament is plasticky line, got some stretch to it. Works really, really well on lighter rods with lighter line applications. The heavier braided line, this is almost like thread. It has no stretch whatsoever, but it's really, really tough. So if you have weeds or wood or rocks, it tends to uh, be much more abrasion resistant against those things and holds up a lot better than the monofilament. Now lures, obviously what you're using to attract the fish and hopefully get them to bite your lure. Got an assortment here, I'm starting with what are called jigs. These jigs, uh, uh, I've got uh, this one is plain, that one you would put a live bait on, like a worm or a leech. Uh, on this one, or even a preserved uh, frozen minnow once it's thawed out. This one here, it's got the blade on it too, but it also has a rubber tail uh, that ribbons beautifully through the water and has a really, really big profile look to it that looks like a minnow. And then we move upward in size. Really a giant jig with a big rubber tail on it uh, that wobbles and thumps along in the water and catches really, really big fish. You're going to want to add some additional tools to make sure you have a safe day out on the water and uh, enhance your chances of actually landing that fish on shore or from the boat. So the first thing you need, especially when it comes to walleye and especially northern pike, they've got really, really big fang-like teeth. So you want to have what's called a hook remover. So your hand is far away from the mouth, so you can grab that hook and pull it back out the opposite way that it went in. Really, really handy tool. These ones are jaw spreaders. This is a little spring. As you can see by the diagram here, it'll open and hold the fish's mouth open so you can get in there and pop that lure out. You've got your filleting knife here in case you decide to keep one for dinner. Uh, you wanna have a pair of scissors to cut that line if you ever need to. Um, I add a file because a file is really, really important for keeping those hooks sharp. Most of the time if you lose a fish, it's because that hook is dull and hasn't quite hooked in good enough. When it comes to an open face spinning reel, what you need to do is obviously I've got a weight on the end of this particular outfit. You flip this ring over and you put your finger on the line just like that. As soon as you let go with your finger, the line's going to come out. So you hold it and then you figure out where I'm going to cast. So I'm going to cast over that way. So you always watch your rod tip. You keep your eye on your rod tip all the time. And then when you're ready to cast, you let off. You let your finger off the line. And then when it lands on the water, you manually flip that ring over, which is really, really important so your line doesn't twist. And then you just simply start retrieving if you want, or you can jig it back. It really, really depends on the kind of lure that you're using. If you feel pressure or a bit of a thump, you want to set that hook. Set it hard and keep that rod and reel at about a 45 degree angle. And you don't want to drop the rod tip. You want to make sure you keep the pressure on that rod and keep that rod bent and do what it was designed to do. That's what the rod is for, to be able to keep the pressure on that fish.